want to move over to just like the very end here. So <laughs> I, guess, I guess, can you tell me a little bit about like, what? What, what's going through Emily's head at the end of the show? Because the whole thing is such an extreme emotional roller coaster. And, you know, when she takes the stand at the end, you're given the impression that she's in a very level headed space. But then at the very end, when another <laughs> baby enters the situation, she still goes back to Bertie McKeegan. So do, does she think the baby's hers or is it more of a draw to, you know, like filling that hole in her heart again? I think it's both. I think it's both like everything we've been talking about and is why mm-hmm. I feel so lucky to have gone to play this character because she's so inherently human and it's so devastating to like imagine that someone she she can't survive she won't be able to survive her her heart was taken from her 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 whole reason for a living and I think she wants to believe that she can continue but when given this other opportunity to survive, she takes it. And she's like, I'm, if I'm gonna take this opportunity, I'm going to need to, to be in it wholeheartedly. So it's, it's complicated. <laughs> It's the type of complication that goes right back to what we were saying before. It's like, I will never forget Emily's journey in season one of Perry Mason because I can't quite put a finger on exactly how she's feeling at any given moment. And it just so well reflects the complications of being a human being and having your own feelings and being influenced by those around you. So I don't know, the fact that you don't have like a very specific like black and white answer to this, I I think speaks to the power of the show and the performance. Thank you so much. I mean, I I feel very lucky to have been given this opportunity, like, to play this woman. 